Have you ever wondered how our rooms are placed in Revit? How the sh room shapes are available in our Revit? In this video tutorial, you will learn two things. One, it is how to create a geometry in Revit from Dynamo. And second thing, it is how to override the Revit element color in views. Hi, welcome to BIM Modeler. This is Rajkumar. I have with me Revit sample project opened and I also have Dynamo opened, all new files opened. So we have to select rooms from our model. You will be able to select room by categories, categories. It's a selection category. Room. All elements of the category we need. It's available under Revit selection. All elements of category. go with manual mode the next thing we have to get the geometry of the room in in the dynamo it's uh, we have to convert our the elements output into a geometry 3d geometry so element geometry there is a node called geometry get all of the geometry associated with this object this may take time if you are running automatically it may go not responded so I am going with manual run mode run it we got the geometry in the background you will be able to switch between the node and the model between these two using these two icons or control B zoom out or you can use the zoom to fit now we will be able to see the geometry model coming back to the node views we got our nodes and we need to export or convert this geometry geometry into a Revit elements. There is a node called Direct Shapes. The Direct Shape node available, uh, Dynamo nodes also available, or the third party nodes available. There is a by mess by geometry in this tutorial i will use by geometry node the geometry node which requires the geometry what we received from the element geometry and we have to specify the category and let me copy and paste it there is no model category called rooms better we create a generic element category and we need to assign our material I can I don't even know the exact name so it's very simple to type material there are different nodes get material name I don't want this and this one it's a create node plus symbol it says create node select a material from a current document by the name I can specify a name it will take the material from our Revit project the name must be a string value just double clicking to get the nodes and the name we can say 
default there is a material always you can create your own material in Revit and then you can assign or otherwise I'm using the default material which is available in our Revit I can take and apply and to the material and name of the objects I can say room as a string room these all nodes used for creating the geometry so let me group it and we can say that as create geometry so maybe geometry before running this script let us go back to Revit I'm in 3D view let us hide these elements by using shortcut hutch hutch or temporary hide category and sorry yes these all elements are coming from dynamo it's a temporary elements so it's not created created any 3d elements not yet and going back to the dynamo and we will be able to run the script the room element got hider because we used the height category or the generic model category Let us turn it on again and turn off all the elements except generic model. This one we don't need. Now we will be able to see our 3D geometry from Dynamo. The second thing it is we have to identify and see the element geometry shapes or you can use the same concept to check your quality of the model. It's nothing but uh, you can do a override in the view, color override in the view. So we are talking about color so we need the node name called color so this one it requires a color ARGB we take this node we can apply a number slider because these color nodes which requires the numbers from 0 to 255 and we will be able to set to 55 and step one by one from zero alpha copy paste red paste green and paste b We can use Ctrl L to align the nodes. Let us create a color range node. We need a different color to be created. Color range. By default it takes a different colors and it previews the same one here 
which is nothing but you can give n number of list n number of colors or list to the color list to the this particular block and indices requires 0 to 1 number the list of numbers which will result in the color positioning let us make a list by giving 0 to 1 I need to specify how many numbers the position numbers let us make this as A the A requires an input we can give that input here the similar way the value also requires a number from 0 to 1 the how many numbers color you need the output how many number color you need so let us make like the same way so we may need uh, depends on the room count you can apply the formula maybe how many rooms we have we can count and then we can apply it and say count on the list and we will be able to give here or manually you can specify how many numbers which requires let me slightly adjust this We have our color range node. Let us run this and see what we got. Only one color, and we may change our random value in this place to get a random color. We may need some other colors to be specified in the range so that the color will look differentiated. So we may be able to create the one more set and specify the random color to this. And we can create a list by creating a list node. I will be able to create another node set there is 3 list 2 we have now list of colors we can apply the same there run it now we got a different color range even we may see the result there are 14 because there are 14 rooms it depends on count let us go back and there is a no name called override we need to override our element in the view not all over the project so it's override it is similar to the uh, element property in Revit right clicking and override the element view in view and override color in view it requires element nothing but the created Revit element rooms and the color
everything is set we may have to group these as pink group this as orange color color over right to read element okay so everything looks good and we'll be able to fit in here run the script now run it one more times with the different colors now you can see that our room geometries are in different colors with different shapes for clear understanding you can close it and you you'll be able to see the result so that's it guys so if you want to learn more subscribe this channel there are more videos coming up on dynamo and revit and navis work the other softwares which is available in the uh, bim tools as a bim model we supposed to learn all these tools thank you so much for watching you can also join me on a linkedin below on the link thank you bye